us to that wall. Won't you leave it at the door? Hey guys, how are you? My name is Rodney. Happy Pride Month. We're starting off strong with a RuPaul Dragon Queen dog. All right. Let's just get into it. I don't know who this is. I have a strong inkling as to who this may be, but it doesn't matter. I didn't think that this package would, would be this big. You know, I knew that I was getting the box and I knew that they were sending me something, but I didn't think it would be of this size. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm super excited. They've been releasing quite a lot of things lately, I feel like. So I'm kind of forced to open it this way. Ooh. <laughs> no, cause I'm gonna start shaking. Like, I don't know, it's been a while since I've opened the new doll. I'm so scared. Okay, okay. <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> it's huge. Okay, so the box is actually that big. Oh my goodness, I gotta keep this. Okay. Oh wow, this is crazy. Is that an eclipse? So there's like, Eclipses on the sides. RuPaul, Dragon Queen. Look at the little Monster High logos right there. Look at this presentation. <gasps> Ooh. They're getting more professional. <gasps> What's this? Whoa, that concept though? Um, I might not be taking this doll out of the box. Should I take her out? Look how tall the box is. It's literally the size of my torso. Okay, so this was definitely the way that it was meant to be presented, like this. <sighs> Wait, <gasps> there's snakes in there. Look. I don't know, I've never had this dilemma of like, whether or not I wanted to take the doll out of the box. Like, it's always a no-brainer for me. <laughs> oh, I'm getting choked up. The doll is so like, big and tall and the lips and the teeth i mean i saw pictures online but this in person i'm telling you is way different like i might buy another one because i gotta take the doll out i'm gonna cry because like well first of all thank you mattel and monster high for sending her to me this is incredibly special and to think that i was selected to be sent a gift like this is astounding to me <laughs> Look at the scales on the side. Those boots are are something. Oh god, it looks so much better in person. I I mean, this is like the first time that I've had this much apprehension about opening a doll and taking it out of the box. Here's the stand. Ooh. I like like hidden surprises and stuff. A white piece for the back, a white back piece. I feel like there's way more details on this doll than I thought there were initially. Okay guys, here she is. First of all, the wings. I was totally caught off guard by how like thick and nice they feel. Also, she's very like, again, she's very tall. But the first thing that I noticed when I picked her up was the weight that she has. It's very nice. It's very like, she feels like a, a really high quality, like collector worthy and just sturdy doll you know i love like a heavy doll it's just like there's a lot to look at and it's interesting how they did that because there's like black everywhere <laughs> i don't know what body mode this may be i don't know if it's the regular monster high body but i feel like it's taller i mean i, I don't know it has to be a new face mold right here's a close-up of her face i love the lips it's insane the lips the teeth like the facial expression is amazing and then look at the freaking necklace whoa how far out does it go oh, wow look how cool that is it's one piece <gasps> the earrings like, what is that oh it's like a school it's like a a monster high is it a monster high school no it's just like a regular skull then as you can see there's like an another material here this is what the back looks like Sorry, I just cut my nails earlier this morning and they look a mess, but it'll be better in the next video, I hope. <laughs> look how cool. Uh, white and black. I like the contrast of that. Her nails are not painted. They could have been black. That would have been great. She has a bracelet on. Ooh, what does that say? That says RuPaul. <gasps> it says RuPaul. Look. RuPaul. 
<laughs> I love that. Um, I don't know why I like that so much. It's just, it's little details like that that really matter. I love the black contour right there. The scale. Wow. And here's her hair. That's the texture of it. I'm, I, I'm really excited to see I, i'm gonna talk about her hair in a second but let me just finish her outfit cool oh fishnet i love that and the train again goes all the way down past the boot but look at these shoes whoa and they have like a little bit of a, a iridescent or pearlescence i don't know what that is it has a little bit of a shimmer to it that is so beautiful oh my gosh it doesn't even need to be painted oh the freaking so i'm really curious as to how i'm gonna style the hair i don't know i really want to wet it and wash it you know condition it and everything to see how it'll look i don't know i think it'll be fun to try a, a, a different hairstyle out on her so but look how cute this would be like if it was like this like look how cute but yeah let me take this headpiece off I think she has a hairnet on. Oh, I knew the hair was feeling a little weird. Oh, that feels way better. That th <laughs> it feels kind of like my hair. <laughs> That's crazy. I've been craving a, a a doll with textured hair. This is some good hair. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Look at that. When you stretch it, you get like waves. <gasps> so what I noticed off camera that i didn't notice earlier was that her ears are like i guess dragon ears i mean i, I mean to me it's given like gargoyle or whatever but i'm not really cultured with like fantasy creatures and stuff so i really wouldn't know what it gives look at the scales it stretches out way to like up here i think the eyes could have been done a little bit better like the actual eyes themselves but overall i really like the makeup it's so cool and shimmery and shiny I'm super nervous to see how the hair is going to turn out because it's either going to be a really good idea to play with it and to, you know, wash it and all that or the worst idea I've ever had. And I, I, I'm thinking it's going to be the latter. But again, it's like for science because I, I really want to do this for you and also for, for myself because I'm super curious to see how it's going to turn out. You know, and it won't be the end of the world. It'll be fine. And fine it was. So I ended up taking her hair completely down and I discovered that she in fact has a middle part, a thatched middle part. You guys know that whenever I discover when a doll has a side part, middle part, any kind of like official part line <laughs> out of the factory, it's always an exciting thing because that kind of gauges where I'm going to go with a restyle. And it just makes it a little bit easier overall. I'm so happy and pleased to, to report that this doll has amazing hair quality and you don't have to worry about combing it. Like you take it out of the box. All you have to do is take the hairnet off, give it a little fluff and it's literally perfect. I just wanted to see what it looked like wet and also it'll make it a little bit easier for me to restyle. The hair is super soft to the touch and it's really pleasant to look at fun i love it here's a few things that i considered using for her restyle but i really didn't use anything and i just wanted to have everything laid out in front of me so yeah all i did was let her hair soak in conditioner for a little bit and i had a little bit of an inspo for her restyle it was interesting because i had to go down a few different avenues and take a few things into account if i had known about this sooner i would have been more prepared I would have, tr you know, I would have explored a little bit more, but this doll just like came out of nowhere for me. I hadn't heard anything about her. I hadn't seen anything, um, but I'm happy that she did because she ended up being like one of my favorite dolls of this year so far. I ran out of breath. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I took inspo from a, a few different avenues and I really just wanted to play into what they already had going on but I, I wanted to make it my own i was a little afraid because i didn't want to create a hairstyle that made her look a little younger than she needed to um so i had to be really careful with the pigtails but i think that the way that i styled them in the end was still pretty age appropriate so what you see me doing here now is just, i'm grabbing a piece that i'm going to form into the bang and i have to separate it from the rest of the hair so that way i can flat iron it and make it as like smooth and flat as possible so it's kind of like a little bit of a hack when you're working with curly hair you can just like straighten specific spots of the hair just to make sure that it's like sleek i kind of wish that i had done it to the outer 
part of the ponytails so that way like the top of her head wouldn't have those like waves but i think that that's beautiful and i, I wasn't really going for a super sleek like perfect look i kind of like how ambiguous her hair can be at times you know it's a little more on the wild side it's fun the thing that i noticed about this hair is that you don't have to be super perfect with it because it's always going to hold its form it's always going to snap back to where it needs to go it's so it's just fun you know i don't know if i could ever replicate it <laughs> but yeah so this restyle ultimately ended up being like a mixture of like gothic met gala i don't know drag <laughs> it's like a lot going on honestly I don't expect everyone to like it, but I, I really do like it in the end once everything is put together. This swoop, this bang swoop on her face, I wanted it to coincide with her makeup. And so if you look closely, you can see that everything is like parallel to each other. But yeah, I just really wanted to make something that I would see like an actual drag queen possibly like wear in actuality. It's always hard stepping into anything that's kind of like drag oriented because that's such a creative space and it's like what hasn't been done there, you know? So again, I don't expect my hairstyle, my restyle to appeal to everybody. all right and to finish her off i have this like powder spray thing it's like a, a glitter spray kind of body oh it's like it's a body spray i think that's what it's called um but it just gives you that extra layer of like shininess and glitter and sparkle and i just like to see it it's really beautiful but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this video thanks again to mattel and monster high for sending me this doll like I said earlier, she came really unexpectedly and I didn't think that I would like her as much as I ended up liking her. And she is definitely a unique doll in my collection. It'll be really cool to see how other people restyle theirs and where she'll fit in other people's collections. But for now, that's it, I guess. <laughs> my next video is going to be on Nevra and Roxy 2-pack. Um, for pride month so that's what i'm going to be working on and yeah <laughs> but that'll be it for me this video thank you guys so much i love you so much and i will see you next time bye bye